good morning campers uh, due to requests from last night's zoom session we will be making the tower again as a video so I'm going to start off with our barrel hitch or tripod lashing we start off with a clove hitch so we're going to go over over again so we get across and then go back through I will do a, a separate video just for that one as you'll I was doing it a lot during this to do a tripod or a barrel hitch you have three poles all the same height and you go over and under all of them so I'm going to move that down a little bit just make sure you are keeping it tight all the way down One, two, three, four, two more, five, six, right. And because it is a lashing, we're going to add frapping turns, which come from here, go across your knot, back at the same side. And these have to be pulled tight as you go. If you see, I use one hand to wrap the rope and then pull. You can use a tent peg, a pole, a piece of wood, a hammer, anything. As long as you wrap it round, hold, hold what you're doing and pull tight, it will pull tight. That's three on that one. Go across to the next one. And three again. One, two, three. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back across and do one more on the other side. So when I tie my finishing clay pitch, I'm not tying it on the same pole that I started with. Because that's one of the golden rules of pioneering. You don't tie off on the same pole that you tied on on when you come to undo it you get yourself in a muddle right. so again you may cross feed the rope back through put it tight and then for a clove hitch put it tight you just turn the knot round so it's where that's tight is and that should stand up and Okay. So you do is adjust the poles to suit how it wants to go on the tripod. Okay. Yeah. Right now we're going to do the square lashing on the base of the tripod. You put the clove hitch, pull tight. Put your pole on above your knot, and then you go over and under around your two poles. And you do this same as any other, as a lashing, three minimum three, depends on how long your rope is and how tight you need it and what your rope's made of. So for this, I'm gonna do it four times. It's three. That's number four. Pull the rest of your rope through. Make sure it's tight. And then again, we're going to do frapping turns. So you can go. We go around halfway around again, so I can get this rope across the middle. And we're to one round. Same again. Pull tight. You can see the knot tightening as I'm going. One. Two, three, and then because I tied it on this pole, I'll tie off on this one. Right. 
flow hitch, and then obviously, like I said before, you just pull the nut round so it's tight. All right, we're going to pause it there. I'm going to do the other three and the other poles. Okay. Right, so we're done with this bit. I've tied up my ends. I've put a sheep shank in that one, and I've just put a knot on, I've put a knot on the end of that and looped it over just so they're not dangling. I've left this bit dangling because I'm going to use that later on. Right now, we're going to put the pole up the middle. So we're going to move down to the floor and we're going to do a round lashing. Okay. And this is used for joining two bits of timber. So we've got two poles, good space overlap, and then we're going to tie it one end and then move up and tie it again at the other. So what we'll do is I'll show you this knot, we'll pause the video and I'll do the other and the other side and then I'll show you how we join it. So, same again. Start with a flow hitch, so we're going to cross over. Right back through, through the middle, pull tight. Exactly the same as your, your barrel hitch. You can go over and under on one end. As you can tell, I'm not in the middle. I'm at one end. We get over and under. As you can see. So at the moment we've got one, two, three. We're gonna do this six times just so you've got enough of a, a grip. Four, five, six. Okay. Right. Same as terminology you'll use for most lashings. Once that's pulled tight, you do a frapping turn around the middle. One, two, three. Right. And pull that tight. Then we're going to put a clove hitch on here. So again, started on this one, ended on this one. It's different. I'm going to move it up. Try another clay pitch on the top of this. Okay. 